Hello and welcome to Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the German film A Fire directed by Christian Petzold. The only other Petzold film I've seen is Undina which Joe and I reviewed on this channel a while back. One of the comments that I made about Undina was that I wasn't sure how it all fitted together but it felt like it would really stick in my mind. And indeed, this is what happened. In fact, thinking about it today, I really want to see it again. So uh, I'm e definitely eager to see more Pets old films. A Fire is similar. I'm not 100% sure yet how everything fits together, but it does feel like it fits together in a very satisfying way. The film's about a writer and an artist who go to stay in a holiday home in the middle of the woods by the sea. And there's another couple unexpectedly in the house too. It's a real slow burner, not very much happens, but there comes a point where I started to realise that Leon, the writer, is the principal character in the film. He's so sullen and permanently a negative energy. It took me a little while to tune into his character, but once I did, I really enjoyed this performance. The disdain that his face shows as he judges the other characters especially the scene where the lifeguard's telling a long story at the dinner table. So much acting can be done with the face and the body, and this actor, Thomas Schubert, does this very effectively. It's a real skill, I think, saying more with less. We know that he's a writer, and we found out that his publisher is coming to visit him to give him feedback on his book, but it's a long time before we actually hear any of his work. We do get a reaction from one of the other characters, Nadia, who reads his manuscript and doesn't like it. And this kind of slow reveal around his work is, is really great, I think. And also how we slowly get to know Nadia's character. We learn more about her as the story moves on. And because of the slow pace of the film, the, the big reveals when they come feel really dramatic. It all really heats up towards the end. This is both literally as forest fires are causing havoc in the area and in terms of the revelations towards the conclusion of the film. I really enjoyed it. It feels like a story with real depth. OK, now if you haven't seen it and you don't want to hear a spoiler, now's the time to turn off because this is where I'm going next. I really like the way that the story wraps up. But I did wonder if the principal message is perhaps a bit too obvious. It's definitely making a comment about writing and the creative process. When Leon tries to write about things he hasn't got experience of, a mother and child for example, his work seems to be poor. When he finally succeeds in his work, he's merely word for word telling the story that we've just seen. At first, I did wonder if the whole story we were watching was his story, but afterwards reflecting on it, I think that the story happened as we saw it, and then he wrote it word for word to make his novel. This is why the conclusion of the story at the Holiday Home is read from the book, so there is a little bit of overlap between the two, and the meeting where the publisher is reading the book is at a later date than most of the events of the film. So what is Petzgold saying about writers, that they've got nothing interesting to say? As I said, I kind of felt like this wasn't the most sophisticated ending immediately after watching it, but the more I've reflected on it, the more I think it is quite a satisfying end, even if it does all wrap it up a little bit conveniently. I think that perhaps there's a broader point that artwork comes out of connection, Felix has a much more relaxed attitude to his work. In fact, it annoys Leon, who's constantly badgering him to work. Felix focuses on enjoying himself much more with the others, and his creative process seems to flow from that. It's effortless. He's connected to wherever he is in the present moment, and he makes work about that, and it easily involves others around him. His work just evolves. Leon's trying too hard, never relaxing, constantly feeling like he needs to work. Most importantly, he's only within himself and his intellect. He avoids connection. 
and it's a very painful, tortured process. Ultimately, he does end up writing about his connection to the others, even though if he gets there through this kind of disconnected process. There's lots going on here, including the imminent threat of environmental disaster and the attitude of, yes, it's bad, but it's not going to reach us. It's a really powerful scene where Leon encounters the burning animals in the woods. Again, because of the slow build-up in the film, these more dramatic moments have all the more impact. Overall, I really like this film. It does become more intriguing as I'm digesting it afterwards. I even think I'm going to watch it again. I definitely recommend this film. Thanks for watching. See you next time.